Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So today I wanted to talk about a new story that's broken and it's been discussed by a lot of people and I looked in a few news sources, I looked at Siyasat, Pakistani newspaper, I looked at Middle East and I, the new Arab. I was hoping for Al Arabiya which is the Saudi one but unfortunately there wasn't anything there because I wanted to get uh, a whole view. But this is official, yeah? It, Dawn Saudi has broken this as well. That the ex-imam, Sheikh Saleh Al-Talib, he has been arrested. Now he was arrested at 2018, so for four years, people didn't know why, but now he's been officially sentenced for 10 years. Now the question arises, why? Why has he been arrested? Well, the general kind of understanding is based upon this speech. <laughs> So as you guys can see, he is talking against and he's condemning these public free mixing and these concerts which is part of Saudi's vision of 2013 where they're trying to modernize. Now, they're, they're trying to modernize in terms of AI, in terms of bringing, um, co you know, corporations in and, and stuff like that but what we're interested in are these concerts yeah these musical concerts which again goes against what we know of Saudi and the thing is some of you might be thinking oh yeah but that's Saudi let them do what they're doing but look here is the Imam of Kaaba yeah now this is something that concerns the Ummah you know Makkah and Medina is you know something that the Ummah is related to and is linked to so this is concerning to us that if somebody is speaking out against something that, let's face it, it's, it's incorrect, it's wrong. Yeah, and if you want to do that, then that's your call. But don't start arresting the Imam of Kaaba. That's just uh, messed up. So <laughs> in that regard, what Saudi's general kind of trajectory at this moment in time is they are trying to liberalize. Yeah, now liberalism is something we're familiar with here in the West. Yeah, because we're following political liberalism and uh, you know liberalism in its morality and stuff like that and I can tell you what liberalism has done in this country families the family uh, model or the family unit is breaking down oh yes why because feminism again is a you know consequence of liberalism and uh, by the age of 21 women in this country have at least nine sexual partners 70 to 80 percent of divorces are being instigated by women so the way women have been targeted and used as a pawn in liberalism and stuff like that i mean it's it's clear and if the the women are not solid in a family then of course the family unit falls apart on the other hand you've got lgbt yeah they don't even know what gender there are there's over a hundred genders you know what i'm saying science isn't taken uh, seriously what is a woman you've got the second you've got the opposition party here Keir Starmer and uh, his cronies saying yeah um, women can have male genitalia so this is what we're dealing with kids as young as four are being taken yeah they they were taken to Tavistock and Portman which is supported by or funded by the NHS to um, you know if, if if a boy thinks he's a girl then no problem take him to gender realignment they can't vote they can't drive <laughs> they can't do anything of substance in society and you ignore if a child says I'm a pirate but here, no, no, we got to take him seriously here, mate. Yeah, so <laughs> this is something that, you know, is a consequence of the modern. We don't know what a woman is. We don't know about genders, mate. We don't know how to keep our family together. We don't know. Uh, in fact, love is love. They say love is love. Morality, you know, how do you prove what's right and what's wrong using the liberal framework? You actually can't. You can't prove if something is right or something is wrong. If you speak to an atheist, it's a nihilism. Atheism leads you to nihilism. That a brain surgeon working hard compared to somebody that's just making circles all day, they're both the same. You can't say one is better than the other. I mean, this is what we're dealing with. So you want to liberalize? 
You want to liberalize? Well, be prepared for this as well. Be prepared for the family unit to break. Be prepared for children to be lost and confused. Be prepared for the laws of Allah to be broken. Be prepared for chaos. If you use the non-Muslims as a yardstick, it's going to be a problem because there's a reason why Islam is the fastest growing religion. Because Islam should be the yardstick. <laughs> That's the thing. Islam should be the yardstick rather than the other way around. Now people make mistakes and we advise each other as Muslims and we do the same over here as well. Maybe they don't know and maybe they see a rosy and cozy Hollywood picture of the West because that's what Saudi is trying to do. They're trying to kowtow to the West that, whoa, what does the West think about us? So, yeah, I wanted to share this and share my concerns about this as well. I'm sure you guys have concerns as well that uh, this is not a good path that they are going down, especially using liberalism. I mean, what a weak foundation. You can't prove the principles of liberalism. You can't. You can't evidentially prove them. So when your foundation is weak and you're using corrigible presuppositions, well, what hope is there? Yeah, so may Allah give us the tawfiq to understand. And uh, mashallah, the fact that he spoke out and it's very difficult for these people to speak out. Respect to Sheikh Saleh uh, Talib. And uh, may Allah give us the tawfiq as well to also uh, speak out. So yeah, there have been other Imams of the past like Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam uh, Ahmad bin Hanbal rahimahullah, may Allah be pleased with them that they have endured hardship from the leadership as well. So this is not a bad sign. Now of course we don't encourage this but you know the fact that it's happened, it is what it is. Yeah, you should speak out especially when the fate of hundreds, thousands and millions of people are you know at risk. So may Allah accept from us. Let's leave it there guys until next time.